On this episode of West Chicago Motor Railroad, let's take a look at this Lionel Lion Chief Plus 2.0 Genesis. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this Lionel Lion Chief Plus 2.0 Genesis. Uh, it is a semi-scale diesel engine. And just a quick disclaimer, uh, I did not purchase this. Uh, Berwin Toys and Trains uh, gave it to me as a, a loaner. <laughs> in order, Or I should say I borrowed it. <laughs> from uh, Berwin Toys and Trains, so I could do a really quick review on it. So, a uh, couple other things. Um, I am not an Amtrak expert, uh, so I do apologize for that. I will do my best. Uh, we won't go too much into any kind of background on these at all. Uh, I want to kind of just get to the review, talk about the features, and then show you how it runs. And I'll let you uh, I'll give my opinion on it, of course, and then, of course, I want everyone to to kind of come up with their own, um, yeah, just your own particular view on whether or not you think this is uh, a value to you or not. All right, folks, so before we get started, I know some people want to see what comes in the box, in the box itself, so as you can see, we have a typical orange Lionel box, and then with their medium to smaller size Lion Chief engines, they come in this plastic kind of clamshell now, and I'll we'll go in for a closer look in a second here, but uh, so it comes pretty, pretty sealed in that pretty well. The plastic tends to do a pretty good job at holding everything packed in, so no complaints from the few, you know, clamshell engines I've had in the past. And then of course it comes with a manual, comes with some spare traction tires and a little tube of smoke. And there we have it. For the most part, unpackaged, and it sits, like I said, nice and snug inside of that clamshell. All right, so first thing first, as you can see, this is not a very long engine for a Genesis or P42, however you want to say it. That's because this is a Lion Chief model. Um, in particular, it's a Lion Chief Plus 2.0 model. The tooling itself is from MTH. So this is the old Rail King Genesis tooling uh, that Lionel picked up uh, in the last few years. And I believe this was in the catalog from last year. And they just started arriving, I believe, uh, earlier this month. And uh, these things are really, really cool. Now, a couple of uh, things that Lionel did uh, when MTH had this, it did not have smoke. So Lionel did, in fact, uh, put a working smoke unit in this, and we'll see that a little bit into the review. Um, I believe that they added ditch lights as well. I don't remember if the Rail King model had ditch lights or not. So, uh, again... Uh, I didn't have the Rail King version of this, so I'm just going on my own particular memory, <laughs> if I remember seeing it. Uh, but regardless, uh, you'll see through this review that this is an exceptional model, uh, especially if you have a smaller layout and you don't have large curves. Uh, this thing is really cool. It's really loud. The sounds are really great. And uh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic unit, and again, uh, we'll go down it uh, like, my, like I normally do uh, for my engines, so let's get that started with the front. All right, so let's go ahead and start at the front. Uh, first things first, yep, my handy dandy pointing screwdriver, but guess what? Got a rubber tip at the end, so everything is safe. Uh, so starting with the front here, uh, we got a electrocoupler on the front. We have a plow down here. 
Pretty cool detailed. Now, some of these lights are kind of painted in to look like they're lights. They're not. There is functioning ditch lights on here, and the headlights work as well. Uh, everything else is kind of, you know, painted in. Again, this is a Lion Chief engine, uh, so, you know, take that in account. The, the pricing of it and stuff like that, you're not going to get scale details on this thing. But for what it is, I would say Lionel has done a very, very good job on this. So, uh, paint scheme coming around. Again, this is, uh, for those that are not sure, this is the Amtrak Phase 3 paint scheme. And this, of course, is uh, road number 40 on this uh, Genesis slash P42. Uh, the only thing missing uh, from the front of this, and you'll see it on the side as well, is probably my only constructive criticism of this unit. And I really think this could have used some engineer figures. Again, something small. You can open it up. You can buy engineer figures fairly cheap. You can glue them in there. Done. Sure. Um, I just kind of figured for what you were paying, that would have been kind of the icing on the cake. All right, so let's go ahead and move it down the side. All right, so again, paint continues to go all the way down. I didn't find anything wrong with any of the decals or the paint or anything on this. It's pretty much perfect as far as I could, I could tell. Uh, so we have a horn on top here. The trucks are actually pretty well detailed, I have to say, for, again, uh, Lionel's done a great job in these Lion Chief engines uh, as far as detail goes. You know, these aren't the engines that you're pulling out of the Lion Chief sets uh, where, you know, they work well, but as far as detail goes, mm, you know, it's kind of missing in that department where this is pretty well packed with details and features, again, we'll get to the features in a little bit, but let's keep going down. We have some vents up here, really cool Amtrak. And of course we have row number 40 over here. There is ladders here. These doors do not open, which is perfectly fine. And then there's some uh, detailing underneath as well. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Nothing crazy going on here. Um, again, we got an electric coupler in the back here. Uh, here's a door, doesn't open, row number here. Uh, when you put it in reverse, the, these lights do come on to signify that it's going, obviously, uh, backwards. Uh, there is some molded in details here. Uh, and for the most part, again, these are obviously painted as well. Got an Amtrak right here. And, uh, you know, again, for semi-scale Lion Chief, I, I think Lionel did a great job. Now, again, a lot of the, the tooling is from MTH, and Lionel obviously put their own little spin on it as well. But, you know, I like it. I think it's great. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on and listen to some of the sounds. All right, so before we start it up, let's go over a few methods of running this engine. Because this is a Lion Chief Plus 2.0, it does have Team CC, so you can use your... Legacy Cab 2. You can use uh, the original Legacy uh, Cab 1L. Uh, you can use a regular Team CC remote. You can use uh, your phone and run it with the Lion Chief app. However, today we are going to use this Universal Lion Chief remote. So uh, we're going to get that set up and we'll run it with that. Now, couple of uh, tidbits here. This engine does not come with any remotes at all. So please keep that in mind. Uh, however, I'm sure folks that are buying stuff out there, I'm sure you probably have access to a phone or a tablet or a Lion Chief remote like this. You need this one. It's a universal remote and you can uh, program up to three separate individual engines on there. Or you know, if you're kind of a vet veteran like myself, you know, you probably have a Team CC remote or a Legacy remote. So, all right, so let's get this programmed in here and then we'll uh, we'll start her up. All right, I got 18 volts on my track. 
I'm going to take my universal remote here and we're going to flip it on like so. And I'm going to hold down this. And bam. All right, so let's listen to the horn. set up on my legacy remote because I did want to show you some of the additional crew talk. Uh, I'll do that as it's going by. Um, I did add some cars on here. As you see, they are actually a pretty good match. <laughs> These are the Preamble Express cars that came with my Preamble Express set, which I have not done a review on, which I probably will do around the 4th of July. So that is coming up fairly soon. So check that out in a couple of weeks. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and get this uh, started up.
enjoyed that quick preview review slash running session um, I think this is a fantastic uh, little semi scale Genesis engine there is a set I believe that is coming out as well uh, which includes this not this particular engine but it does have a Lanchi plus 2.0 Genesis engine and three Amtrak cars if you're really looking into getting to a getting to a really cool the passenger set, um, I would highly advise that you probably pick that one up. Uh, if not, if you have cars or if you're just interested in the engine, um, this is a fantastic piece. Like, really well done job. Um, I've liked all of the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 engines that Lionel has uh, come out with in the last several years. Uh, include, you know, when they put that Team CC board in there. Um, I think it makes a huge difference, especially now that you can you have so many options of running these engines, you know, with the uh, universal remote, with your Bluetooth app on your phone, and then of course you know your Team CC slash Legacy remote. Um, again, I used the Legacy remote there in the last in the running session, just so you can hear some of the uh, the radio chatter and you know you get a some additional features and stuff like that. It's not a deal breaker. Um, you know, using the Bluetooth app or the remote is perfectly fine for this. Um, but again, like I, I would say a, a job well done. All right, folks. Well, again, if you are looking to pick one of these up, uh, Berwins has a good supply of them. Uh, also, they have the different Amtrak paint schemes as well, not just this one. Uh, so when you get a chance, uh, head on down there. You can call them at 708-484-4384. Uh, they are open uh, six days a week. They are closed on Sunday. Uh, they are located at 7025 Ogden Avenue in Berwyn, Illinois. Berwyn! Uh, that is uh, part of historic uh, Route 66. And uh, say hi to uh, Tim, Tom, and Larry for me. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. There are going to be a lot more reviews. I'm going to have another one here back to back coming up. Um, it is a uh, Lionel uh, switcher, uh, a legacy switcher that just came out. So you're going to see that probably a day or two after this review goes up. And then I have actually a few more to do as well. So uh, Berwin gave me a good stock of trains to do reviews on them. Um, again, just, you know, I am, I am borrowing them, um, doing a review on them. And then I'm obviously giving them back to Berwyn, but I do appreciate uh, Berwyn for giving me a chance to do these reviews so they can get out there, people can see these engines before they go out and buy them. So, uh, and uh, one last thing, folks, if you like this, please uh, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment, and also hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel, lets me know that you're watching. All right, folks, you have a wonderful day now.